So now in this video we're going to look at the NPN bipolar junction transistor, the 2N3904 in particular. We'll look at that in more detail coming up. But in uh, any case, right now we have it wired as a switch. We have a protective resistor for the LED. The LED wired in the right direction to light up and then the uh, transistor, it comes to ground. And so the LED is not lit up right now because we have to give the base a signal. So we got a high value resistor, relatively high value resistor right there. So a little bit of current to the base is now letting the transistor conduct fully. The bipolar junction transistor, such as the 2N3904, has three terminals. One is the emitter, one is the base, and one is the collector. When you're looking at the front side of a 2N3904, this is the pin layout. Other transistors have different pin layouts, but uh, if it starts with 2N, it's a bipolar junction transistor, that's probably the pin layout. The emitter on the schematic symbol is the arrow, right there. The base is the bar, right there, base. And then the collector, right there, that is the uh, line without an arrow. So, how well the collector to emitter conducts, you put the collector to the more positive side of the circuit, emitter towards the more negative side of the circuit, depends on how much current is flowing from base to emitter. Switch open, no base to emitter current, no collector to emitter current. If you got the switch closed here and enough current is flowing through, you don't need very much, then the collector to emitter will conduct fully and in this case the LED will turn on. It's being protected by a 220 ohm resistor and the control current, the base current, we have set with a 10,000 ohm resistor. And so really, that's about all there is to understand this circuit. The LED is not being controlled mechanically, although in this case I am. We could just use a voltage from any voltage source and cut off that voltage. And we could turn the transistor on and off with that. That's the nice thing about transistor switches. There doesn't have to be any mechanical element to it at all. It can be all electrical. So in any case, that's it for this video. Make sure you check out one of the other ones that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe the bell, all that. Donate Patreon if you can. I got links down in the description. But just watching videos helps out a ton. Thanks to everybody that does that. I'll see you in the next video.